What up, YouTube? We back with another one. Before we get into this video, man, yeah, make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man, and comment on these videos. Let us know how y'all feeling about these videos we got about this um, hot shot thing, man. We're trying to bring a little bit of information, shed a little light on the um, trucking industry or whatever, show everybody how the thing rocking. But I'm going to tell y'all about how today went, man. So we started out in North Carolina um, yes yesterday. Actually, the day before yesterday, we picked up two Connex uh, shipping containers from Statesville. And they were headed to Orlando. The first thing, the first problem was with this, um, what I'm seeing with this freight thing is, because like I said, we primarily were hauling cars before. So what it looks like I'm seeing with this freight thing is the brokers and the shippers not being correct on that weight or they lying about the weight, which I'm going to just say, I think they be playing games because there's no way they are the way they are. Like I picked this, these shipping containers up, they're supposed to weigh 5,000 pounds. The, the, the thing was, once I get there, they they weigh 5,000. I, I think I looked it up, did the math. They weigh a little over 5,000 pounds empty. But when I get there, the shipping containers aren't empty. But the guy, but one of them was smaller than they were supposed to be. So, um, so I tell him, I'm saying, well, you know what I'm saying? How much is in there? So he's estimating, oh, it's about 1,000 pounds in this one. And it's probably... And that he's like, and that's overshooting it. It's probably less than that, and it's probably a thousand, twelve hundred pounds in this one. I'm like, all right. So I'm like, this container weighs five grand empty. This one weighs three grand empty. From what you're saying, then so a thousand that brings that one to four. Just estimating this one to be six. I'm like, all right, that's ten thousand pounds. He's like, yeah, you're you're definitely not over eleven thousand pounds. So. I'm driving and I'm looking at my truck and I'm like, man, like I know what my truck looks like. You know, you once you're doing this for a little bit, man, we, I, haul car, I was hauling cars, man, the weight, you know what I'm saying, 10,000 pounds, easy, no problem. My truck swallows that, it's nothing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, a 2,500, man, a pull 10,000 pounds, no problem. Trailer, E including plus trailer weight. So, as I'm hauling this, I'm down here at this, um, Acme, I think Acme truck stop down in Orlando real quick. But as I'm um, as I'm hauling it, man, it's like I'm watching the fuel. I'm watching the fuel gauge just move, bro. It's, it's just I can see it moving. So I go take my first trip to the scales. I go across the scales, and I'm the shit is like double the way it's supposed to weigh. That was the first problem. So now I call them back, like, yo, we're gonna have to get right, man, cause this is way heavier than, I, I don't even like to haul shit that heavy, as heavy as they had me yesterday. So that was the first problem. So I call them back, call the broker back or whatever. So we, we get back and forth and we try to come to some kind of arrangement. At this point though, by the time I went across the scale, like from the back roads, country roads, I was already about two and a half hours from the place. So I was like, eh, you know what I'm saying? I can pull it, I don't. I just don't prefer to. You know what I mean? So. It wasn't like I couldn't do it, but it was like it was working the truck harder than I really really would like to work it. But um, so I went ahead and came down here. Now I'm gonna fast forward to when we get here. So I give them a 24 hour heads up. You know what I'm saying? Which is what you would want to do if you get them messing with the freight. At least letting them know. And I tell them exactly what they did. They used two two forklifts to put the large container on, and they used one to take the other one off. So I'm calling, letting the dude know what he's gonna need. Well, I, I, he should know. He know what he had, what he ordered. So I tell them. So I get there, I look, they got one forklift. So I'm like, I said, bro, you're not going to be able to take this off of that one forklift. I'm telling them that. Like, you're not going to be able to take it off of one forklift. And I'm going to include some pictures of, of the load in, in the video. But, um, so I'm there watching them struggle, try to get this 20-foot container off. They got the small one off. Like I said, the smaller one was about 10 feet long. This one was 20. That was easy to get that one off. I'm watching them get the 20 off. They're struggling. Hours are going by. I wish it was minutes, but it was hours going by, right? I'm sitting there, hungry, tired, drove all the way to Orlando from North Carolina. And I end up sitting there. I made it to my appointment time. I end up sitting there about four hours. It was a safety guy out there because it was on some kind of like a damn nuclear test site or some shit. So I'm watching these guys. So we, I mean, we were way back off the off the main road, back up in the cut. But it was all paved back there, and and then some gravel roads and all that. that I mean, it was buildings back there. It was man. They had like we had to go through like two checkpoints just to get back there. It was crazy. They had to come escort me back there, or whatever. But anyway, so we're way back there, and this security, the safety guy, I keep calling him security, that was over the site or whatever. He didn't. 
he didn't like the way they were taking it off. So they was every time they wanted to take it off a certain way, they somebody would say, "Well, you might want to run that by the safety guard." So the safety guard come and say, "I don't like. No, nah, you can't do it that way." No. So they finally had a uh, truck bring another uh, forklift out there. When this guy brought the truck, the forklift out there, he brought it. So they started doing it the same way the other guys did it when I picked it up. They lift it up on both sides, I pull from under it, simple. They start doing it, the safety guy's coming out there, he's all in the way and shit. Then they say, I know he started, no, nope, you can't do it like that, it ain't gonna work. So then they put it back down. Now they're frustrated. And I wasn't mad at the guys, cause they were trying to do everything they could, but every which way they went, the safety guy would come and shut the shit down. So, um, so now we out here, I'm like, what y'all gonna do? They're like, I don't know, I don't know, we don't know, we're gonna try, I'm like, what you mean? Like, what you mean? I can't, I was here in the morning, now it's the afternoon, it's like one. I'm like, man, you know, you holding up my next loads. So, they like, I don't know. So they scrambling. So I'm like, well, let me call. So I call back again. Like, yo, we're going to make some adjustments, man. I'm out here. Four extra hours. You know what I'm saying? You got to pay for my weight and all that. So I'm going to fast forward again. About another hour later, they finally come back. Hey, they called me. We got a place that's going to um, offload it. It's about 30, 30 miles from there. I'm like, what? I want this heavy, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, I want this heavy shit off my trailer now. You know what I mean? So, so you mean to tell me, I'm like, we got to strap this back down. And then this container was at the front. So I asked the safety guy, could they at least move it back? You know, put some weight on the axles. He said, nope, they can't move it at all. Like he wouldn't even let them slide, let me slide it back on the trailer. I mean, the dude was just an asshole, man. If you ask me, I'm just gonna be real. I don't, I don't know. He wouldn't let him do nothing, but anyway, so I had to, we had to strap it back down. I had to drive 30 minutes, over 30 minutes somewhere else. Then to go load it and the dude came and just took it right off the trailer real quick. And as he did that, is when we noticed that on this new trailer that these oil baths had started leaking a little. Like those caps, if you see these caps right here, they're plastic. So luckily I had two and that oil right there is probably is from before when I changed it, it was just caught in the rim. I bought two extra ones when I bought it because, you know, I heard that that would be most likely, you know what I'm saying, the first problem that I would have. So I bought a couple. But the problem is I get up and I look and this other one was leaking. And I hate to admit it. Uh, and I hate to say, like, you know, because I heard so many things, oil bath is good, oil bath is bad. Even Toe Piggler, Toe Piggler said oil baths are bad. He said he had them and he don't, he, he wouldn't run oil baths. So that's why he got a 14 GN instead of a 16 GN like I did to uh, avoid the oil bath. And these, uh, this is a new trailer they started building like last year or whatever. So I'm not sure if they have a, a brain fart trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying? What they gonna do with the 8,000 pound Dexter axles. But anyway, this one has 8,000 pound Dexters and I think they, we're using on the other ones that use sevens. But anyway, um, so yeah, that was the next problem. And it could have been, it could have been like, like, uh, like some other people saying, Topi people saying too, like when you turn it with all that weight on there, it, it does, those wheels will flex, they'll flex a little bit. So that it, but my mine is not coming like from the back. Mine is coming from the cap. It's like when I took that first cap, like it was like broken inside all like the little threads on it we had to kind of get in there and fish that thing out so so that's where i'm at with it man so that just added to the day man so that really like shut me down for part me for the night you know what i mean so it was it was already getting late anyway it was no need to uh try to grab my next load just go ahead park it i was tired hungry um i got my my boy out here with me i'll go over there in a minute um he was out here too we was actually actually gonna uh tag team a large load that i had found uh, we're gonna split it up, but then uh, I'm gonna go over there and make a video about that in a minute. Um, let him tell y'all about that. But um, he had a little something going on too, so we had to park it. So we about to go try to get both vehicles straightened out. Get my trailer looked at. He had an issue with his truck. Damn man, see if we can have a better day, man. Yesterday was a rough one. Hot shot land. I will say that. I made him get. I made him get that. I made him come up with that money though. You know what I'm saying? Get that. Get that rate right because, man, once you tie up somebody's whole day like that. gotta 
We gotta be compensated, man. But anyway, like I said, man, hit that subscribe button, man. I'm gonna try to grow this channel, man, so we can get other subscribers up, man. I'm gonna keep the info coming. Keep making some hot shot videos. We're gonna have some fun videos too coming too, like I said, man. And um, y'all just y'all just hit that like buttons, man. Hit them comments.